and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I have just arrived in the UK. Well, yesterday I arrived in the UK after two years of living in Slovenia. It hasn't been two years yet, but I've just rounded up because that's what I do. But I did fly out two years ago on the 31st of October, which was Halloween, like a witch, you know, I flew out. And yeah, finally I've been able to make it back home. I am just going to be quarantining for 14 days, so don't be worrying about me, you know, traveling around. I'm just staying at home with my family because that's why I came all the way here so yeah there haven't been no travel bans yet but now there are going to be more restrictions because you know everything's changing all the time so don't worry guys I am staying at home so I thought I'd update you guys on how my travel has been and everything like that just in case you plan to travel to see your family or for emergencies and yeah it's interesting going um, to the airport and traveling during this time just because it's a bit scary because you don't know what to expect and I haven't actually been uh, flying um, yeah in the past two years I haven't flown anywhere so I thought I'd tell you all of that good stuff and what happened so many different things happened and oh my gosh I gotta tell you guys so make sure you take um, a seat and get yourself a cup of tea or whatever you're going to drink and yeah we'll dive right in I've got notes here yeah, my sister gave me these notes, a uh, little notebook which is really cute. So I know exactly what I'm going to say and hopefully it goes smoothly. But she will be appearing in some of my videos so keep a lookout for that. And then I will tell you all about uh, my sister's channel and she can do an introduction and everything like that. So yeah, keep a lookout for those videos. They're going to be super fun to film. And yeah, let's jump. So at the start of this year, I booked my flights with EasyJet and then the whole pandemic situation happened. So that got cancelled and then I rebooked again. Um, with EasyJet for October from Ljubljana which is Slovenia's capital and that is such a small easy airport I mean it's the best airport I've ever been to it's so easy to get around you'll never get lost so yeah I was going to fly from that airport um, to Stansted Airport and what happened that flight basically they didn't have any transport when I would arrive at London Stansted which is what I've been uh, flying from for ages National Express coaches they limited the amount of coaches were going out, which is understandable, but they didn't have any coaches which were available after six o'clock, so there was no coach to take me home, and I didn't want my family to be coming to Stansted, which is like a four-hour drive and then four-hour back. So um, I cancelled that flight, but I wasn't able to get a refund for that because it wasn't due to the pandemic, but um, I did cancel that flight and then I rebooked with Lufthansa where I flew from Ljubljana to Frankfurt and then um, to Birmingham Airport which I haven't flown to in ages but yeah so that was my whole booking experience then when I was checking in which was uh, yesterday so I flew out yesterday and when I was checking in online basically um, I do all my checking in online I don't actually do it at the airport anymore because it's easier online and uh, I can print off everything so when I was checking in online um, Lufthansa came up with a pop-up which the first pop-up was if you're going to Germany you have to have a COVID test um, it's mandatory if you're arriving in Germany that you have a COVID test there's facilities available at the airport for you to have a COVID test but the thing was I was quite confused because I was like um, unsure that uh, why do you have to take tests at the airport because you don't know how long you know it takes to get the results and everything like that so I was a bit unsure about that because obviously it's a new experience for everyone so yeah and you have to wear your masks which is obvious and then if you're arriving in Birmingham you have to fill a passenger location form and I'll talk a bit about that form after because you know some crap went down with that so I contacted Lufthansa and um, I contacted the Germany hotline and basically I waited half an hour and nothing, no one, got, I never got through to anyone, so I was like, forget that. So I contacted the Slovenian hotline and basically the lady told me, because there was no information about connecting flights, like, do you have to take a test if you're just transiting through? There wasn't much information about that, it was just if you're arriving, and basically I am arriving in Germany, so I just double, I just wanted to double check because I am like an over prepared person, so I'd rather get everything, you know, done correctly than, you know, be unexpected and shit goes down. Anyhow, so I asked the lady and she said to me, oh, you need to contact the German embassy, and I was like, oh, okay then. So I contacted the German embassy, the one in Ljubljana. Don't ask me why I contacted the one in Ljubljana, but I did. And they told me, oh, you need to look online. 
and I like I did look on the online. There's no information about transiting for like, flights and taking a test for that. And then um, he goes, that's the only information we have. So I was like, oh, that's lovely. So then what I did was I contacted the COVID center that is taking the actual tests at the airport, at the Frankfurt airport. I contacted them and I got through to a lovely lady who told me that if you stay in the airport, you do not have to take a test if you're transiting. So that was great. And I got that sorted. It was just something on my mind that I just wanted to check. And yes, everything was fine uh, when I got to the airport. I didn't have to take a test or anything like that because I was transiting through. So the next thing is all about my experience at the airport. So Slovenia's airport, the one in Ljubljana, is absolutely awesome. It's just such a tiny airport. I mean, the people at the security border, there was hardly any, there was nobody there when I was. I went at three o'clock and there was nobody there. They literally were sitting down waiting for somebody to come and I was the first person. And I went through that, flying through, and then the gate is just exactly there. And I was sitting there, I'll include a footage. You're not really meant to record yourself in the airport, so I haven't recorded a lot in the airport, but yeah. Um, there was hardly anyone there and I was just sitting there and my flight went smoothly it was like one and a half hours then I arrived in Frankfurt and Frankfurt is a massive airport I remember last time I went to Munich airport and um, my connection flight was really short the transit between and I didn't realize how big Munich's airport is and there's like a conveyor belt where you know you can stand there and it takes you slowly I was running on that conveyor belt to get to my flight and I was like out of breath and basically I did miss my flight that time anyhow now I'm always over prepared and had a four hour layover so I can relax you know walk slowly make sure I get something to eat so on my actual flight there was a guy that sat next so in the actual airplane people were allowed to sit together and they did keep people together you also were separated into groups i'm not sure why they separated people into groups maybe i don't know high risk or age i don't know but they did separate people into groups and people were sitting next to each other and they also gave you hand sanitizers at the start of the flight and you are allowed to drink and everything obviously you can just take your mask off uh, i was sitting seat. next to an african-american guy i knew he was american because i seen his passport and he said to me you good and i go i'm good are you good and he goes i'm good and basically um i was obviously recording the scenery as you do and he was like laughing that i'm you know recording this evening um, and then at the end of the flight we started talking he was like oh where are you going i'm like i'm going to birmingham he's like oh birmingham sounds really cool and i was like uh it's okay <laughs> but yeah he was like birmingham sounds really cool and um he was traveling to dubai and then basically we just chatted all the way through and then we went to the airport together as well his uh, gate was close uh, to my gate so then we decided to go to the lounge and have something to eat and he actually um offered to buy me some food uh so yeah i did take the food he uh, bought me some uh he bought me a sandwich and a, a coffee and we were chatting so he was a mechanic um in the army you won't believe this but we were talking for like three hours because i had a, a four hour um, layover so we were literally i had like a movie prepared i was gonna watch lord of the rings because you know that's a trilogy and you know my favorite movie ever i was going to watch lord of the rings but actually we were talking for so long he was telling me about his experiences and how he's getting deployed and he actually lives in celia which is like such a small world you know i've never seen him before but he lives in celia also um has a partner who is slovene so yeah he lives close by which was crazy to know because normally i always think i'm the only asian or person of color in the store so yeah that was really cool and he was telling me about his um, experience like what he was doing in the army as a mechanic and how he gets deployed and he's on and off um you know being abroad and then coming home which i thought was amazing because you know you're away from your family for years or months and it's such an amazing um experience of uh, being at the airport sometimes because i get to meet such amazing people they tell me such awesome stories and it's really interesting to meet new people that way um so yeah um he was telling me all about his experience there and how he's seen people get killed and you know that he's, he was saying he was telling me that the people who are interpreters they have like the hardest life like when they come back home because they can't come back home speaking against their own country and giving intel and stuff like that and then they can't come home because if they get caught their families will get killed and stuff like that so it's really interesting his life story and everything like that and he was also um much older than me so um it was interesting seeing someone else's point of view and obviously it's cool to hear another um 
person's experience living in Slovenia or some time at the airport. So guys, here comes the juicy part. So, as I mentioned at the start of this video, you have to fill out a passenger location form. Now, this is on the government, the UK government website. You can have a look at it yourself. If you're coming to the UK, you must quarantine for 14 days and you have to fill out the form online 48 hours before you arrive to the UK. It basically shows the government where you're going to stay and that you are going to isolate and get a fine. And I went to the airport when i arrived at passport border control there was just one lady there who said uk passport eu passport this way and then there was the machines where you put your passport and the camera recognizes your face and then you go through there was no one at the airport that i could give my passenger location form to because at the top of it when you print it out it's got a qr read at the top so i would presume you meant to scan it so they could check that you actually have gone through with the form and you are going to you know isolate and everything so they can check on you and all that and there was nobody there that would be there to you know take your form and scan it and check everything that you're gonna uh, stay at home and isolate i was really shocked i was thinking maybe i missed the person maybe I did something wrong and then actually i looked online and what to do if your passenger location form hasn't been scanned and basically many people have mentioned that they've gone to the airport and border control have not actually scanned their for uh, their paper there was there was no one there to do it so i was thinking that's really a shock but i thought they were going to make this a priority as cases are rising and everything so i thought they would be doing this you know strictly and everything like that because it's meant to be the border controls responsibility apparently that's what it says online so yeah there was no one there to scan my form but i am still going to isolate because that's my responsibility as an adult <laughs> so i am going to isolate anyway so guys that's all for this video let me know um what you guys are up to and how you guys have been i'm really happy to be home especially to have my mom's food because i actually miss my uh, mom's cooking there's nothing like home cooking i'm so happy to see my family and everything i will be including some videos with my sister as i mentioned before so look out for that because we do actually have some videos that we did ages ago like three four years ago they're so funny they're on my sister's channel i will include her um channel in my description so you can check those out because we are going to make some similar videos again four years later Later. so yeah guys i will see you in my next video and make sure to like subscribe and put your notification bell on and i'll see you in my next video as i said <laughs>